Andy, we've just spoken to some um, really emotional, really devastated uh, players in there. I know it's your job to, to pick them up. Um, what have you been saying to them? Uh, just You just try and be honest and, and reflect properly without the emotion. You know, it's a, obviously it's an emotional time because for this group it's, it's the end, isn't it? For a couple of people uh, retiring, etc. And um, you know, if if spots and maybes and the bounce of a ball and held up over the line, etc. So close, but yet so far away. And so there's there's a lot of emotion within the dressing room, but you just try and get them to back to reality that they should be unbelievably proud of themselves. Everyone that's been associated with the team, the team itself, the squad, the staff. And and the fans, fans alike, you know, one one big family, um, uh, trying the best to to um, to do the country proud. So I couldn't be more proud of them. Josh said that you told the team that they shouldn't let this defeat define them. Is, is that because of the quarterfinal record that you don't want them to be to, to be categorised as another Irish team that that fell short, that didn't do it when it mattered? I don't. I, I, you know, I don't buy into that. I don't care about that. That was a hell of a game, and you know, probably fitted for a final. So, um, yeah, you know, the, the bounce of a ball that goes into Dan's hands or held up over the line. We're talking about a, a different story, aren't we? But that sport—that's why we love to hate it, hate to love it, etc. And uh, somebody's somebody's got to lose. And unfortunately for us, it's it's um, it's not our night, but. Congratulations to New Zealand. I thought um, they played a um, a wonderful game, as as did we at times. Do you have any regrets um, about anything in, in the preparations? I know there'll be reviews into these sort of things. Um, there was a lot of talk that maybe some of the frontline players had played more minutes than, than other teams. And, and, and then this evening that New Zealand maybe were dominated in certain areas early in the game before you guys got started uh, you know on, on the scoreboard after about 20 minutes you know and all, all that will be considered will it well of course yeah that's you know um i'll obviously review myself uh, first and foremost um in the in the, in the coming days etc um but if you're asking me about regrets i don't think so i mean um i think we give a a fairly good showing of ourselves and the players uh, have done done the country unbelievably proud. Just a word then on, on Johnny. I know you've spoken about him many times in the build up to this, but he goes away now deeply emotional just a few moments ago. Um, he's contributed so much, hasn't he? Oh, well, um, you know, we haven't got time in a short interview like this to, to, to reflect on Johnny, Johnny Sexton's um, time in an Irish jersey, first and foremost. Um, the love that he shows for for playing for his country is is reflected on how he how he acts on a daily basis. And the biggest compliment that I can give to him is that um, his time and what he's done over the years, certainly with this group, will will live for a, a hell of a long time because his influence that he's had on on his team uh, will last a lifetime because um, of how he of, of how he conducts himself as a as a as a professional and a bloke, and uh, and the fight of the want to to to, to do right for Irish rugby um, has been immense. I've never seen nothing like it uh, before, and that will certainly live with me for for forever. Um, he's a true legend of Irish rugby, and I'm rightly so, probably the greatest of all time.